Alright, so before I start this full video out, I wanted to add this happened on Sunday. I haven't been able to go to class or to work. Man, whenever the painkillers wear off, it's like it, hurt. it hurts just as bad as it did the day in the emergency room. But anyways, I'm hoping it'll quit hurting either today or tomorrow. But here's the x-rays. Um, this is the, the radius bone. I completely broke the tip off of the bone there and it's just hanging out in the middle of my wrist now and then the uh the radius bone I actually cracked in half right there and the bone there there's a little step but anyways let me show you all the bike here's the bike and the plastic dip got some scratches in it from my knee and uh, the exhaust pipe here the paint actually came off where my uh my leg hit it but that's um, an aluminum colored paint that I painted the exhaust pipe. So I got an, uh, a DG Enduro silencer. And this wasn't actually on during the video. I actually put that on yesterday with only one arm. <laughs> what else did I do? I polished up the swing arm. I put a new chain on it. Got uh, a seat cover made for it. It was free. Looks pretty good. What else? I uh, rebuilt the shock under there. Um, adjusted the preload, pretty much cranked it up all the way. It's holding fluid and holding shop air in it for right now, but it's holding. And the front forks, these are actually from an 86. I bought them off of eBay for cheaper, in good condition, than it would have cost to rebuild these. Oh, that hurts. It hurts to still move my fingers, but anyways, these are um, totally shot. I wish I could pick it up and let y'all hear the noise it makes inside. Can't. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyways, the seals are totally shot, and there's no oil in them. When I got these, they didn't have any oil in them, so I just topped them off with oil, and uh, the seals are good. I'm trying to think of what else I did here. I put some stickers on it. Oh yeah, new back brakes. Of course, y'all saw that in the video description. And I still haven't lowered the PSI on that tire. But yeah, that was totally the problem, man. I just just barely tapped the brakes. You know, I have them adjusted to where you just barely tap them and it's going to lock them up. And uh, that's all it took to send me in a skid. And there really wasn't much I could do in that situation. Um, I also built this kickstand for it. I made the bracket out of quarter inch plate, angle grinder, um, welded a bolt. For a spring perch type of deal. Um, this is just 3 8 round bar, I think. It might be half inch, I'm not sure. And then I just doubled it up right here. Laid a nasty bead of flux core down the side there. And as you can see, it's it looks just like the stock one, but it's not quite. And uh, it folds up perfect. Don't interfere with anything. It looks awesome. Um, once again, if I had a a decent arm I would lean the bike over and kick the stand up for y'all to see and uh, that's that's the only damage right there is on the tank and on the pipe nothing a little touch up paint won't fix but anyways that's the bike y'all I'm pretty much done with it really I need um I need to get new levers is I don't really care for the shorty levers but until someone broke the balls off the end before I got the bike then they just filed the end down but I also need a new clutch perch this one um I can't I can't grab my fingers well enough to pull this back but the threads in here in the clutch perch they are uh, stripped so this is actually going in at an angle and I really don't have much adjustment out of it and as you can see someone tried to like I don't know I think it broke up here and someone um, JB welded it back together or something don't know one more thing here's the old muffler I took off of there it's about the length of my forearm <laughs> And it probably weighs 15 pounds. This one here weighs probably about six or seven pounds, and it's way shorter. I still haven't fired it up to hear what it sounds like, but this is a straight through silencer with um, fiberglass packing around it. So it should be pretty, pretty loud. Hoping it's not too loud because. Kind of like the way it sounded before, but I'm sure it'll sound better. Once again, that's enough rambling. 
Here's the full ride. Enjoy.